Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth Nasejad. This is the latest this hour. Now, the late Medica Gua, who has been the boss of the Uganda Human Rights Commission, will be buried tomorrow at his home in Mpiji. He was confirmed dead this morning at 9 a.m. from Case Clinic in Kampala. According to Case Clinic, the Medi Kagwa was lifeless by the time his body was brought to the hospital. The 64-year-old say, is said to have lost consciousness while driving his car and knocked another car at Mulago roundabout at 7 a.m., where onlookers found him and rushed him to case clinic. The family says he has been battling pressure on his one of his last activities he participated in yesterday was the kids takeover activation where he surrendered his office to a little girl, Mastula Nasaka. The workers at the Uganda Human, Human Rights Commission said he moved around each and every department of the commission showing them someone who had replaced him yesterday. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Now, still on the same story, Ugandans who have interacted with the human rights activist Medi Kagwa are in shock after receiving the sad news. Condolence messages are still coming in on our social media pages. On Facebook, Chris Zua said, It is sad I saw him yesterday on live news presiding over ceremony and appreciated his good looking ways by maintaining the same status. His tenure as an MP, I should say, RIP. Then Godfrey Reigns said, God has called him, so rest in peace. Thanks for the work you have done to our country. As Sega Peter wrote on Facebook, he said, Was he not in police headquarters yesterday? These small gods must be aware. Rest in peace, rights activist. Uh, let us end with Elijah or Willie Lom Lomogin, who said, So sorry to hear this bad news this morning. That was unfortunate, but God knows the reason why it had to happen that way. May the good Lord comfort the bereaved family. We now move on to more stories making news. This hour from Ethiopia, polls opened this morning in Ethiopia's ethnic Sidama state in a referendum for a new federal state, a, a critical vote in a tense region that could embolden others to follow. The Sidama push for statehood already triggered days of unrest in July that left dozens dead and prompted the government to place Ethiopia's thousand region under the control of soldiers and federal police. But the mood on Wednesday morning in the region, in the regional capital, Hawassa, appeared calm. People formed long queues at polling stations at dawn with some 2.3 million people registered to vote. Away from the polling station, the streets at How of Hawassa were much quieter than usual, with Wednesday declared a holiday for the vote. Heavy armed police and soldiers patrol the streets. Closing off the news at this hour is a story from Nigeria where the ruling part on Mandu won. The key oil-rich state of Bayelsa, the electoral body said, aside of President Muhammad Buhali's growing influence in opposition strongholds. Residents cast their ballots in, in a hotly contested gubernatorial elections in Bayelsa and Central Kogi State on Saturday in polls marred by sporadic violence and abuses including killing abductions, vote buying, the snatching of voting materials, and intimidation. Bailesa has been ruled by the opposition People's Democratic Party since Nigeria turned to civil rule in 1999. It is a key political battleground because of the lucrative oil and gas sector that is largely best in the southern delta region. And that is all we had for you this afternoon. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV. And you can also follow us on social media. Our Facebook page is The New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Roth, the voice. Thank you for watching.